Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about uh, using an antivirus <coughs> program or application within Linux. Now, <coughs> ordinarily, um, the conventional wisdom states that uh, you don't need an antivirus if you're running Linux. <coughs> uh, and that may be true if you were enclosed in your own little Linux world. However, uh, since you may be transferring files to friends, family, on USB disks, USB drives, uh, through email, there are all kinds of opportunities even though you may not be infected, there are all kinds of opportunities for you to pass along uh, some type of malware or antivirus to your friends or your family. So in order to be on the safe side, you may want to run an antivirus program. Now you've got a couple of options uh, within Linux. The first one, uh, if you bring up Synaptic, and let's open Synaptic. The first one would be Clam AV, Clam Antivirus. However, <clears throat> uh, that is a text or a command line based pro program. If you would like the, uh, the graphical front end, you would install Clam TK. So let's go ahead and install that. As you can see, along with that comes Clam AV. It comes all of the uh, required files, and it gives you the Clam TK graphical interface. Makes it a lot easier to configure your antivirus. So let's mark those, apply, and install them. Now that will only take a minute and then we'll go to our menu. Now I am doing this within Peppermint 7. Okay, so all changes have been applied. <clears throat> so let's take a look. And it's under Accessories Clam TK. Now the graphical interface is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your settings. Under configuration, you've got your settings. You can scan for uh, potentially unwanted applications. Scan files beginning with a dot. Scan files larger than 20 megabytes. Scan directories recursively. That's all files within a directory. Check for updates and double click icons to activate. Now, <clears throat> if you scan for PUAs, you may um, get some false positives. That happened to me a few times. Uh, but if you wanna be super safe, you'll want to check off scan for PUAs, scan files beginning with a dot, uh, depending on your system, you may want to scan for files larger than 20 megabytes. <clears throat> and of course, I always scan directories recursively, so I want to scan the files within a directory. So uh, this is the ultimate protection right here. And then you've got a scheduler where you can set it using a 24-hour clock. So you basically set a time to scan your home directory. You set the time, and then you can also set a, select a time to update your signatures, which is a good idea to do um, on a regular basis because there are uh, virus signatures released probably every day. So you wanna stay right on top of that. Uh, you can show your history and you can show any files that are quarantined. You can scan a file, you can scan a directory on demand, and then you have the analysis, viewing a file's reputation. Now, you can update your antivirus signatures. Right now, 
my system is configured to automatically receive updates so it won't let me update manually so let's go to update assistant okay so it's set up by default to automatically receive updates if you want to manually update the signatures then you would click uh, update signatures myself show you what that does if I apply that and I go back and I click on update it will now let me check for updates so if I click on OK it's going to go through the up updating process now <clears throat> you can also do that from the command line if you open up a terminal and type in I believe it's fresh clam and it needs root permissions okay so as you can see it will uh, update your signatures at the command line using sudo fresh clam so you have an option to go either through the graphical interface or at the command line so now <clears throat> we'll get, we, we've got an automatic scan and an automatic update uh, so let's close that out but we're going to go back and on our update assistant we're going to do it automatically okay so now we're back to automatic and <clears throat> in our scheduler we have scan at 11:30 p.m. and update signatures at 11. A daily scan is scheduled. You are set to automatically receive updates. So we will close that out. And so now your antivirus <clears throat> is set. So that is one option that your CLAM AV using the CLAM TK graphic interface. Okay, we're going to close. I'm going to close this out and then I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to sign into a different distribution for the second option for your antivirus. Be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, uh, this is Ubuntu Mate and I'm going to go through the uh, process of installing a second option for antivirus for Linux and that is through Sophos F-O-P-H-O-S uh, they do have a website where you can download the uh, the application now this is the process you'll go to you'll go to sophos.com www.sophos.com you're going to click on products then you're going to come down and click on free tools and then you're going to scroll to the bottom where you will find <coughs> Sophos antivirus for Linux free edition you will click download you will click get started and then you will have to basically sign up for the free antivirus application first name last name email submit it'll bring you to a link to download once you do that you will have the downloaded file and I will show you that and let's see so false okay so I have the tar file 
right here. And so there is a specific procedure to installing that. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so once you have that file downloaded, then you will need to open a terminal and get into the directory where the file, the tar file is located. For me, it's my home directory under a Sophos folder. So let's get into Sophos. And once I'm there, I will list and see my tar file. Now we have to extract that file. So once we get into the correct folder, that's the command to extract the file. Now, as you can see, it is extracting the downloaded file. Once it's downloaded, you'll see a new directory has been created, Sophos AV. So now I need to get into that directory, Sophos-AV. So now I CD into that directory, and I'm going to use the command to install. And I'll put this in the show notes, but it's sudo space sh space install dot sh. Need to be in the correct directory. Enter your password. Now it's going to go through the install process. So let me enlarge this so we can see the install process. Okay. Press return to display license, then press space to scroll forward. Return, and then I'm going to pr press space because we need to get to the end so that you can accept. Do you accept? And of course, you need to accept the uh, license agreement in order to install. So yes. So where do you want to install? Sophos antivirus. Now the default is in your opt folder under Sophos AV. So we're going to take the default. Do you want to enable on access scanning? Yes. Which type of auto updating do you want from Sophos or from own server? So we're going to press S because we want it from Sophos. Do you wish to install the free or supported version of, of SAV for Linux? We want the free version, so that'll be F. Do you need a proxy? No. And now it's installing the antivirus. Now that should only take a minute to install. So it says when Sophos antivirus starts, it updates itself to try to find a Sophos kernel interface module update. This might cause a significant delay. Sophos antivirus starts after installation. Installation is completed. Now, Sophos is running. And so now your computer is now protected by Sophos antivirus. So that's as simple as that. It will update by itself. Um, it will protect your system and send you update messages if there is an issue. And that is the second option. It is free. Uh, it is regarded to be one of the best Linux antivirus solutions out there. So guys, I'll put the appropriate notes in the show notes and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's a couple of options in order to uh, protect your computer when you're running Linux using antivirus. So you've got Clam, TK, and Sophos. Guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.